Hey YouTube, uh, you're looking at my gaming rig, okay? This gaming ring, rig, I'm sorry, was bought four years ago, approximately four years ago, okay? And it has all custom parts, I special ordered, okay? It has a two uh, graphics cards in it, equaling up to one gigs of RAM, uh, 512 gigs of RAM per graphics card uh, it has a 740 watt uh, power supply um, and as you can see it has a special fan and cooling system for the uh, processor uh, that the processor is only a core 2 duo uh, at running at 2.6 I believe um, gigahertz and um, you have a uh, high performance hard drive and of course the two graphics card running SLI okay this particular system four years ago cost me twelve hundred dollars okay and that did not include the monitor okay so in terms well it by spec terms it blows anything basically the Xbox 360 has to offer okay it has more graphic memory it has more graphical performance uh, <clears throat> the processor may be equal or not equal I don't know but uh, let's just say that this computer is more powerful than any console on the market today including the PS3 okay now uh, I know that the cell processor and the processor that's currently in the Xbox 360 may be a little bit better than the processor that's in here but uh, I mean far as the RAM memory goes there's eight there are 800 megahertz RAMs in this in this uh, gaming PC okay uh, it's only two gigs of it but I could upgrade it to four gigs of 800 megahertz RAM and it will I mean screen performance um, it has one gigabyte of graphic memory as I said and I mean on paper yes it, this has better specs but as far as in gaming okay yes it is a gaming PC and yes I can run a lot of good uh, a lot of top end PC games on this machine uh, if I tweak it even further the uh, performance would uh, it, uh, of course improve but as it stands where it is, uh, I have to say pound per pound the PS3 and the 360 probably has more games, uh, more games that look better than a lot of your PC games. And you have to understand, just because a PC is capable of putting out better graphics doesn't mean that all games have better graphics, okay? Because uh, a lot of your games um, are uh, internet w uh, web based games that uh, can't use high graphics because of the bandwidth problems and all that so but this machine will play your crisis uh, at a medium high maybe high levels not the highest I wouldn't say highest because it can play highest but the thing is is, is that you'll have some lag issues and some glitches um, all PCs, I don't care how good your PC is, it's going to have some issues when you play full settings at full everything. Only the perfect, I mean perfectly conditioned PC can run uh, high-end games at maximum settings without any problems, okay? Uh, so when it comes to comparing a console game to PC games, you have to take into effect that PC games PCs have the ability to have better graphics, have better games, but they usually don't because not all PCs are equal, number one, not all PCs are capable, num number two, and number three, uh, you have to spend hundreds more on a PC to get the same level of performance you do on a home console. So when it comes to which is system is better to play games on, uh, physically and technically and hardware wise the PC but uh, that depends on the PC 
and that depends on how deep your wallet goes. So if you have, let's say, $2,000 to burn money on a spectacular uh, CPU, much better than this one even, and then uh, spend um, uh, almost 500 to to $1,000 on a large uh, monitor, then yes, PC is the way to go. But at that level, do you really have the game library that is going to use utilize that hardware uh, that hardware spec? Not really. Okay, you may have one or two main titles that come out that can only be played on the best computers in the world, but that's only one or two or handful of titles. Whereas the PS3 and the 360 and the home consoles have a lot of lot of high end games that that play um, consistently well on, because it was designed and built for that particular console okay and you have to understand this I bought four years ago and I think I bought then I then I bought the PS3 within the same year I'm not I, I'm trying to remember I'm so bad with dates as everybody knows but the PS3 cost the PS3 that I bought was $600 and this thing was uh, $1,200. So this thing costs double the amount. It has double the spec the PS3 has, but right now at this point, the PS3 does play better games than this PC because uh, when um, Ghost Recon uh, Future Future Warfighter comes out, um, I think it's gonna pro that's probably gonna play better on the con home console than the PC version will ever play on this machine because this machine's four years old and I would have to probably upgrade the uh, graphics card even though the graphics card has one gig of RAM in it I still would have to uh, upgrade the uh, performance of it far as in f its physics and its ability to process the bandwidth and information and all that it is a DDR2 and so it probably needs to be upgraded to a DDR3 motherboard uh, to uh, be able to uh, use DDR3 RAM so uh, yeah if you want ultimate gaming, yes, invest your money on a PC, but you're not going to get ultimate gaming because the ultimate games are essentially on the PS3 and uh, Xbox 360. All of your pop, most popular games, platform games and all that are m mostly uh, more on the home consoles than they are on the PCs. The PCs either going to have web-based ga web games that are simple graphics, uh, 2D games and such, and then you're gonna have um, the higher end games that are like first person shooters and uh, graphically insane games that can't possibly play on all of the PCs that are out there. Um, the hardcore PC gamers, they invest hundreds into their machines, but they usually wind up playing maybe a handful of titles. Uh, on the like people will buy like it's st it's so stupid because you can people will buy like a two thousand uh, dollar gaming rig and play Counter Strike all day long. Okay, Counter Strike is a game that is dirt old, but they'll buy outrageous amount of hardware to play a simple game like that. That's a little going. That's a little crazy. But but that's PC gaming. Okay. Oh. So, and you constantly have to update and upgrade your PCs to play those games and it's not a very economical way to play games when it comes to choosing between home console and PC gaming it, the home console is a simpler system to play on less mo it takes up less money and you get just as good graphics on the majority part monitor and uh, still have lag issues because the settings are uh, so high that I have to go in and every time I play it I have to go in and specially tweak everything in order to play that one game so it's a more complicated way of playing games too so alright